All right, welcome back to Eyes Open Media. I am recording. <laughs> okay, um, so let's uh, hope you guys are doing well. I hope you guys are uh, actually um, checking out the uh, videos on the channel and subscribing and liking and sharing. Okay, we're going to talk about quickly about Donald Trump. Um, and, uh, you know, the, uh, there was a prophecy um, from um, Prophet of Solomon talking about how Donald Trump was going to make an announcement uh, that, um, you know, it, it angered a lot of people, right? And I asked her about that, and she she said that it might have already happened with South, with uh, with Korea, with North Korea, where, you know, he made the announcement to to go, um, you know, to go see uh, Kim Jong-un and, and go visit him and go have their meeting together. And, um, and uh, to me, and I did tell her that uh, and that didn't really seem like that was it, but okay, and I'm, we're just going to go with that right now. But I don't, I think there's something else, okay? But that, I could be completely wrong. That could have been, that literally could have been the uh, prophecy, right? Where he, he agrees to meet with Kim Jong-un and it really pissed the liberals off or where blah, 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 right? Or I don't know, because a lot of people, I didn't see that much dislike about that. I, I saw a lot of people stunned by it. I saw a lot of memes. You know, I even posted a meme of Hillary Clinton saying, uh, you know, uh, of Hillary Clinton, um, you know, basically stunned that he he could uh, pull it off. OK. And uh, so I just I didn't I saw a lot of people cheering about it, saying, that, you know, see, President Trump can meet with anybody. He can stand in your face and, and tell you off in your face or tell you the truth in your face. So I didn't see it as people being a lot of people being angry. So um that's just me personally um so they is there is there something coming uh is there something coming that's going to uh do that probably now was it the it was it the iran deal you know was it donald trump announcing that i you know that he was going to be um you know removing america out of the iran deal was that it you know that pissed off a lot of uh, liberals and stuff, but it didn't piss off Republicans, though. You know, re you know, many Republicans agreed to get out of that terrible deal. Now, the the uh, left are were only angry because they don't know they don't they didn't read the deal. If you, I mean, they don't know what's inside the uh, Iran deal, right? So the left are just going with what the media is saying. The the left only agrees with the media. They they don't know, they don't have a clue of what's inside the Iran deal. They don't know that the Iran deal actually hurts America and the Western world. They don't know anything about the Iran deal. They just going off what the media says, right? So the media hates it. They hate they hate it because the media hates it, right? So they don't know anything about the Iran deal. They don't know that president, they don't even know that um, uh, Secretary of State, uh, uh, you know, John Kerry at the time said he didn't even read the Iran deal. He, he said he said that they didn't, you know, Barack Obama and Biden didn't even really know what was inside the Iran deal. They just wanted to make, they, they, they basically made it in, uh, favorable for everybody else except for America. And and so that's the people we had running the country, and that's and so and so it's it's just unbelievable, you know that we have people in America that are this brainwashed, right? And I'm not telling people to like Trump. I didn't say that. You see, because every time we talk about something, people automatically think that you're saying without saying it that you need to like Trump and I you know and so I have to come out and say I didn't say that either right it's, this is the kind of world we live in now where you can't say something about somebody else and and and, and people will automatically think you're on the other side and it's really annoying and it's really terrible that that's the type of world we live in now where you you are John Kerry can say we don't know what's inside the deal we just signed we just signed it because it was favorable for everybody else except for America right <laughs> you know uh, and and that's one of the reasons why we saw um, that money uh, Obama send money to Iran remember that he lied about it in the beginning that then he said oh yeah yeah we did send money we did send money to Iran yeah yeah we did you know we we never do that okay so he he said yeah we sent it over to so we could free the uh troops uh that, that were captured in in uh, or or the sailors that were captured at sea or something we never do that obama we've never done that in the history of america okay we never we don't pay uh ransom for our, for our troops or sailors we we never do that so 
Uh, it's uh, I, just unbelievable, unbelievable. And then, so people will think because I'm uh, because I because I I talk about that, they will think that I'm on Trump's side, right? And so <laughs> this is the type of world we live in. But anyways, will Trump make an announcement that angers a lot of people, right? That could still be on the table, okay? Because it, in my opinion, it needs to be an announcement that all sides are angry about, right? And then, you know, all sides are angry about. How about sanctions on Iraq, right? That would make that that would make all sides angry, right? Because the the you you have the uh, Republicans and uh, those who support the Republicans. Some of them are invested in Iraq, and they are like, "What is? What are you doing? Now we're going to see a massive delay, you know, to, for me to to get my money out of Iraq or me to get my business running in Iraq and things like that. Or we've wasted our time, right?" And then you got the leftists saying, "You punished them. We've punished them enough. Yeah, you Republicans sent uh, George Bush sent these troops in there wrongfully, and now we're we're putting sanctions on these poor people again." So that would that would be it right there, right? That would be it, and especially those that are invested in Iraq that are part of the dinar community would be upset with Trump as well, even if they are Trump supporters or not. Right. Because they would also be uh, angry that we might see a massive delay if I if Trump did put sanctions on Iraq. OK, so so, yeah, so that would probably be what I'm looking for. Right. And uh, I've already said this weeks, weeks, weeks ago. You know, what I mean, but um, yeah, so that's what that's what could be possible. Right. That and I did do a Twitter. I did do a Twitter poll on that. And that came in second. Right. Maliki being the president of Iraq would, would make people go into complete chaos. Right. <laughs> and then um, um, Trump putting sanctions on on uh, Iraq would also would, would, would came in second in the poll. So people think those are two really, really big things. Right. Um, so that could still happen. Right. And the reason why it could still happen is because Iraq really doesn't want to um, they really don't want to follow through with the uh, U.S. sanctions. OK, um, they don't really want to follow through. A body even said it himself. We don't really want to follow through and uh, oppose our our you know neighbor country, uh, which we're really close with, and and quote unquote they're quote they're close with Iran through corruption. By the way, okay, they're not close with Iran for for helping the world. They're close with Iran to deal in corruption. Okay, so that's that's what we need to keep our eye on because. These people are going to say, yeah, you know, we, we understand that Iraq has, uh, I mean, our uh, U.S. has put sanctions on Iran and uh, we don't really like it, but, you know, but we will we'll deal with it and have to go through with it. Now, when that, when somebody like that, which a body did come out and say that, that tells you that they're not going to, they're going, they're going to not follow through. They're, they're not going to be like the rest of the world and just stay away from Iran and they're going to literally help Iran out. So they're still going to help Iran out, but and that and so today we find out that you know they're still doing trade uh, things with Iran, and they say, well, you know, it's 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 not really part of the uh, sanctions and things like that. Now Donald Trump says anybody doing anything with Iran, I'm going to punish, right? So I'm going to punish those that are doing business with Iran. Stay away from Iran under these sanctions, okay? So then we saw over a hundred companies, you know, pull out of Iran, stay away from Iran. Uh, then they're, they're no longer doing business with Iran. Iraq is the only person, the only country that's going to help Iran is Iraq. You know, so I know we we all say they're brothers uh, in the physical, but in the spiritual, Iran is the sister, and and uh, I, Iran is a brother, and Iraq is a sister, right? So. Um, so they're actually, they're actually brothers and sisters in the spiritual realm, but in the physical realm, we all call them brothers, right? Little brother and big brother, right? Iran is always the big brother. Iraq is the little brother, but in the spiritual realm, Iraq's the sister of Iran. Okay. So when, when, when Iran's in trouble, guess who they're going to be looking at? Iraq. This is why we, we, we believe that. Iran's only way out of this to survive these heavy sanctions that have been put on them by Donald Trump is to adopt the IQD, right? 
by adopting the IQD, they get to survive because the Toman, uh, the real Toman is gone, right? It is devaluing like crazy, right? So what they would do is they would, and they have a lot of IQD, by the way. Remember, Maliki and all these guys were flooding in the IQD into Iran. Also, Iran was then in turn creating counterfeit IQDs and supplying them all over the world, <laughs> which was really really bad and so some of the exchanges and these online exchanges uh got caught by um selling the uh fraudulent iqd and through iran okay um and maybe some of them will continue to get caught once the, and once uh there is a break in the system so we you know we got to think about that as well um okay so now so what's iran going to do right how iran going to survive these uh, new heavy sanctions on them, they're going to have to, most likely, they're going to try to adopt the IQD. May basically adopt the IQD as their own currency for their country, right? Because they have a, they have a ton of it, right? Uh, and also, they're going to continue to ask for Iraq to secretly help them. Now, if this happens, Trump is going to find out immediately, right? And it could be through Kuwait, it could be through Saudi, it could be through Tur Turkey, it could be through his, um, through the military, our military's there, you know, it could be uh, through our embassy, whatever way it is, Trump is going to find out, and is Trump going to get very angry? Of course he is, right? Of course he's going to get very angry. He might even hold a secret meeting again with a body. This is one of the reasons why Prophet Solomon had, saw the dream with uh, Trump and Obadi and Putin and and trump was really going in on a body okay so so that 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 part of the dream might be coming true if trump does find out that iraq is still helping iran support themselves right and stay alive okay so that they might have to set up another secret meeting and a body's gonna get drilled by donald trump and maybe even donald trump could announce sanctions on iraq that will make a lot of people on both sides of the table very angry, especially you people listening that hold, you know, that, that are invested in Iraq. Okay, and that will be that will bring the climax of the doubt. That will be the that will bring the climax of the investment, right? And so, Clem Clement's prophecy is um, that at the, at its worst, when things seem at its worst god will free them right and then they they will say why now why now right so that's what we're waiting on we're waiting for that climax and if donald trump does announce sanctions on iraq for helping iran survive which the iraq is gonna have no no choice but to help them okay that's their that's their brothers that's their whatever you want to call it right so that's their partners, right? And so another thing we were waiting on is a partnership between Iraq and Iran. And this is the perfect time to do it. We saw it politically with Ameri uh, teaming up with Sadr, and they're going to form, form the largest bloc with Abadi and Hakim, Alawi, and others that are trying to keep Maliki out the picture, right? Um, but... Uh, we need to see it financially because that's what we're waiting on, right? The financial aspect of it. So we're waiting on the financial partnership between Iraq and Iran. And this is this is basically what's going to come down to because they're not going to have any choice. Iraq's not going to have any choice but to have to partner with um, Iran to keep it alive, regardless of what the U.S. says. OK, so this is coming down We're we're going to see this really soon, either this month or next month. OK, where Iran and Iraq have to do some type of partnership to keep Iran alive. Right. So adopting the IQD, agreeing to let them adopt the IQD as their national currency. Uh, or some type of things at the border, some type of border market, uh, you know, something where they stay alive. And this is when Trump could put down the hammer on Iraq by putting them into sanctions. And this could bring the climax of doubt. And this could bring the climax of when it seems at its worst, God will set them free. OK, so that's what I'm, I, I want to see something like that. that. Does that mean that we're guaranteed to see Trump announce sanctions on, our, on Iraq? No, we're not. OK, but I want to see some type of um, climax. And that's what we've been waiting on. Some type of climax of doubt, some type of climax of, oh, God, this is not going to happen this year. That's what I want to see. I'm waiting on that climax because once we see that climax, that 
when we we get the break, right? So we're going to get the break. God will step in and we'll get the break. That's what the prophecy says. And that's the only part left in the prophecy is at their worst. And when things seem at the worst, God will step in and they will shout, why now? Okay, so if Donald Trump does put sanctions on Iran, on Iraq, Pete, and then and then boom, we do see the release and we do see the break of the system. People, will, almost everybody, will say, "Why now? They're under. You just put them under sanctions. How is this, how is this possible? What's going on? How did the how did this happen? Right? So that's what that's that would be perfect. Okay, um, but that doesn't mean that's going to happen that way. That would be one of the scenarios that we will be looking for. Um, so there's other scenarios that are possible, but we don't want to go through all of them because then it's like we're basically telling everything and then God would have to, if God doesn't want to, us, if God doesn't want it to happen that way, then he would have to create another way and it could, you know, it could bring a delay. So we don't want to do that. We, we see, we see one possible way and that is Iran and Iraq, uh, partnering, uh, letting Iran adopt the IQD or some type of border market, um, you know, border market, uh, economic border markets, uh, at the borders to help Iran survive. Donald Trump seeing that and uh, announcing Iraq uh, is on sanctions, punishing I Iraq for helping Iran, and and then everybody doubting and everybody getting very angry. Uh, people saying is it, our investments are done, it's over, and then boom, God steps in and releases the brink in the system, and people scream, "Why now? How does how is this possible after what Donald Trump just said?" Okay. So that is a scenario we're looking at, and we, you know it's just one of the many scenarios that we see could happen. So I just want to keep you guys updated on that because don't fall prey to it. Don't fall prey to the to any type of doubt, any type of uh, negative stuff that might come out in the in, in the near future. So we and, I, and I, when I say near future, I mean the next days and weeks, right? So we're at the break, right? We're at the breaking point right now. So so we got to wait, watch this very closely because Iran is on the is going to need Iraq's help to survive, right? And remember. Iran is going to be a superpower, so they will survive this, right? So the prophecy is Iran will return to being a superpower, and they will join, you know, Korea. It's not going to be South Korea or North Korea because they're going to unite. So it's going to be it's going to be Iran, Korea, China, and Russia, and the BRICS, right, going to war, World Three against the West, right? Um, so uh, against the Western world, America and UK and some of the European countries, okay, that are still left because Russia is going to be literally taking over most of Europe anyways. But anyways, that's the, that, that's to come in the future. And, and, and I don't know how long that's going to take, but that we know that's coming in the future. And this is one of the reasons why China told America that they're not going to stop dealing with Iran just this week alone, right? So we know that Iran has deals and partnerships with Russia and China and also with Korea as well. So, um, yeah, so we, we can see it already coming into existence where Iran, uh, Korea, and China and Russia are going to be the top dogs in the Eastern world, and they're going to unite to go to war against uh, the Western world. So we can already see that happening now. You can see it already building up. When will that happen? We don't know, right? We don't know when that, it could be 10 years from now, it could be 15 years, it could be 20 years from now, but we can see it already starting to form and, and uh, take shape. So we'll see how this plays out. Uh, keep your heads up and uh, keep watching. Watch my Twitter page because I'll be posting things on there uh, to give you guys some more clues about things that are happening. And uh, that's it. Let's see. Let's see if this plays out. Imagine if it plays out the, the exact same way, right? And if it does, and do, and you guys are watching this video, and it, don't have, don't watch this video, and then it plays out this way, and then come on my Twitter or my or or uh, YouTube or uh, Instagram and say, "Oh my God, I can't believe that! Uh, I can't believe we're we you know Trump did this. We are done. Our investment is over. Our investment is done." <laughs> And, I, and I'm going to say, did you watch the video I did? And he, yeah, I watched it. Okay. I might have to block you. <laughs> okay. So, so uh, make sure you guys understand this video. Okay. Make sure you understand Clint Clement's prophecy. Okay. When it seems at its worst, that's when the breakthrough is going to happen. We, I actually want this scenario to happen.
because it's gonna it's gonna definitely tell me uh, who who actually understands uh, the prophecy and who understands what my video just said and who's been actually listening and praying and not who's all about emotions and in their feelings. Okay, we're, we're this is not a we're this is not Drake. We're not Drake. We don't listen to that crap any anyways. And uh, <laughs> okay, so get out your feelings. And I want to see if this thing happens. Okay, so if this happens this way, it's going to be crazy. Okay, it's going to be really, it will be really crazy if this happens this way. So I'm looking forward to seeing if it does or not. If it doesn't, that's fine. Okay, because, and the reason why I'm saying that is because once you put things out there, the elites always try to change it, or even God might change it, right? Because it's you put it out there, so it might be might be changed slightly because I did talk about it, um, and uh, maybe others will talk about it after, or maybe have already talked about it before. I don't know, but either way, we'll see how it plays out. Eyes open, bye.